So think about this. I'm over here on the wall, and anytime this arm is on the top right there, you know, we put it on the, right there. And that's why you got the other arm right here protected by. So that should be for this kind of control. You know? I'm gonna use my front, I'm gonna move, I'm gonna slide my head inside, I'm gonna start moving. When I move, notice that my head's on the ground. Can you see that? Head's on the ground, go for head locks, you know? Cannot do it, huh? Nah. Go back again. Go for head lock. Thank you. So I only do this when I'm ready. When I'm escaping, I put my head on the ground. Later, take my hand off and I keep my hand over here. When the guy tries to catch you, you catch him. When you catch the hand, how, what's the principle of this mechanic here? Think about this. I'm over here sideways, huh? Now look at that, I grab the, I grab the, the, I grab the arm here. Can you guys see I grab the arm? And I'm like this. Now John tried to take his arm out of there. Cannot. He tried to clamp his both hands together. Uh, I put a bone over there. Remember the bone again? Look at the bone. Bone is a pain. You see the bone over there? The, my elbow, between my elbow and my shoulder, no way I'm gonna let this hand touch each other. Now look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use my legs and I'm gonna put the John's elbow on the ground. Look at that. John, take your hand out of there. Now look at this. I'm gonna put my, all my weight on John's arms. John, take your arm out of there. John, take your arm out of there. Take your arm out of there. Now watch my legs. Take your arm out of there, John. Take your arm out of there, John. Huh. Now catch. He brings you right to the top right here. Now you got his arm. You move to the other side. Uh, you can just come here. You can let go. You can have a, a keep moving. You can do tons of now, or you can just extend this arm. Look at that. I extended the arm before the armbar comes. Oh, uh, the armbar is right there. Now from here, I pass my leg over and I sit. Look at the armbar. How easy to get the armbar here. It's like a mouse trap. We, we gotta start to understand Jiu Jitsu like a mouse trap. Us as Jiu Jitsu practitioners, we cannot go after the, 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 the submission. We have to prepare the mouse trap and wait. When the situation arrives, you catch it. You're gonna catch any mouse you want if you wait this way. Now, if you go to Jiu Jitsu and you come to class and you try to overpower each other with this, you try to overmuscle each other with this. You try to fight with each other, like in this. What happened now, you are grappling, but you are not performing jiu-jitsu the way how jiu-jitsu was de developed by, by Grandmaster Helio Gracie. That was the mousetrap set up. The mousetrap set up, what you, what you do? You create a safe environment for you, and you open the mousetrap. When the guy tries to get you, you catch him. So you only catch your opponent when you try to catch him. That makes sense? Like this, you don't force the guy, you just in, in, not go induct him, like a, you conduce him, you kind of invite him, encourage. encourage him. So when I'm like this, sideways, I disencourage my opponent by moving my head on the ground. So I'm not, he cannot go for headlock, but when this arm here is free, and I go here, now I got this arm free, I take my head off the ground. Now he go for the head, you catch it. When you catch here, you use your both legs and you do this. Up. You bridge, now the guy's up on the ground. Now I bridge, bridge, and I turn my ankles are boom, bridge right there. And you go right to the top. Do you remember the hitchhike, you saw the hitchhike there? Like, I'm a kind of lazy guy, I don't like to, to, to work so hard. So I always like to hitchhike somebody. Anytime you toss somebody, the moment you break the guy's balance, you attach to him. Now he falls, but he brings right to the top. And you hitchhike in every move. And this creates a very spoiled situation for us in a way that you can perform judges in a very intelligent way where we can make a little girls, we can make little boys, we can make small people, we can make weak people do moves they, they couldn't have done it before because we require a lot of this. As you can see, it's just bait. It's nothing more than bait. You know, that's how you just go fun. And that's how we get older. That's how we really understand about this. Because the moment you understand about this, we get spoiled. And you're going to be looking for this in every technique, every position. And I will tell you, they are there. In every position, they are those invisible stuff. Every position.